All right, welcome back. It's day 21 of your 30 days of fitness with Mind Pump. You're three weeks in, man. Great job so far, you guys. We're back to your lower body strength compound lifts. Your first movement that we take you through is the Bulgarian split squat. This time, Justin's actually gonna hold on to a dumbbell. You'll notice that he holds on with the opposite side of his, le his front lead leg. You can do that on either side, but try challenging yourself with this if you're ready for it. Some of you guys might be having a hard enough time just with your body weight already, if that's the case. Stick with the exercise without the weight. Those of you that are progressing right along, you guys can add the weight to increase the intensity on in this. So then the second movement Justin gets into is the Romanian deadlift. Then we get into the sissy squat. Sissy squat is the new movement in here. When you do the sissy squat, this is a very challenging movement, so make sure you guys pay close attention to all the cues we give you. If for some reason you have a really hard time with this movement, you can regress this exercise and replace that with the leg extension. I'm sure Sal will give you a hard time if you do that though, because the sissy squat is for sure a superior exercise. Justin then gets into the calf raise. We have a little bit of a progression with the calf raise, so make sure you watch that video again. And then we have the Turkish get up. This time with the Turkish get up, Justin demonstrates that with a dumbbell. In my opinion, I think doing this with a dumbbell or a kettlebell is much better than just doing it without any weight. It helps you have to balance above your head. I think it holds, keeps you in better form that way. So pay attention to that. Start with a light weight the first time you do it before you start to progress up. It's about the mechanics of this movement. It's not about how heavy of a weight that you can do. Also, remember, this is the end of week three right here. You should be pushing that 12 to 14,000 steps per day. We're gonna progress you in the next week coming up. And make sure you guys hang around all the way to the end of the video. Sal's gonna tie this all in together for you. All right, we're back with the Bulgarian split stance squat. You wanna start in the bottom position that helps you get in the right position. And it looks like we're using a different loading method this time, a dumbbell on one side. You want to use the same side that the leg is being supported with. Great way to create a distraction. This also forces him to have to stabilize in his hips. This is a great way. I love to do this movement before I get into like a heavy barbell squat or movement. Really wakes up them hips before you get into a deep squat. That's right. Full range of motion means knee comes all the way to the floor. You don't want to bang the floor with your knee though and come up. Nice and controlled. Remember, most of the weight of this exercise is on the front leg. That back leg is really just for support. Now, Justin's holding the dumbbell on the opposite side of the leg. Most people you guys will see that do this with single, they'll do it on the same side. It's not that it's wrong. You can do it on either side. You can challenge yourself. That's a great way to switch it up is hold one dumbbell on one side, then switch and do the other one the next time. Excellent point, Adam. Next exercise, the Romanian deadlift. All right, we're back here with the Romanian deadlift. You're going to stand up with the bar at arm's length and knees slightly bent, slide the hips back. You can, If you can touch the floor, that's great. If you can't, that's great also. Your hamstrings will tell you how far you can go. Don't want to break posture now we wanted movement. Now, we wanted to give you guys another angle here that we're shooting from so you can see how Justin's hinging back on his hips. You also can see how his back is staying nice and neutral and level as he drops down. You know that you're going too far down if your low back starts to round. So you want to keep it. Justin's got great range of motion, so he can actually take the barbell all the way to the ground without his low back rounding. If you start to feel this in your low back, then you should shorten up the range of motion. That's right. Lead with your chest. Lead with your chest with this movement. You should feel a stretch at the bottom of the exercise. Coming up next, the sissy squat. All right, this is a new exercise it's for new, this week's workout. It's new, and it's up there with one of the challenging movements. There's a lot of cues to pay attention to when you do a sissy squat. You want to use something for balance. You want to stand up on your toes, and then what you're going to do is you're going to bend your knees and lean back. It's all in the knees. You want to drop the knees down and then come up and squeeze the quads. This is a quad isolation movement. There really isn't much hip involved other than stabilizing the body. Looks kind of like a limbo. You might not be able to go down as low as Justin is. Yeah, Justin's got great range of motion, so he's able to get pretty close to the floor. It's okay if you can't get that far. It's totally... And this exercise, a lot of people will think is dangerous for your knees. But the key to this not stressing your knees, is squeezing the butt, pressing your pelvis forward, keeping it in that position because the first thing you're going to see is your hips are going to want to kick out as soon as you bend at the knees. So you got to really actively think about keeping the butt squeezed and the abs tight the entire movement. Now work with the range of motion your body has. So if you can't go all the way down, don't go all the way down. Maybe you only do a quarter uh, rep with this particular exercise. That's okay. Challenge yourself, but don't go beyond the edges. Uh, great quad exercise, very challenging. A lot of fun. Practice this one. Coming up next, calf raise. 
All right. Well, now we're on to one of Sal's favorite exercises, the single leg calf raise. So this is a bit of a progression from the last time you guys did calf raises. We had both feet on the ground. So if you that was challenging, then you can stick with that. But most of you will be able to progress over to a single leg now. So Justin's using the squat rack to kind of brace himself, use for balance, and then he just lets one leg hang off the bench and then stands all the way up in the balls. That's really the only difference between this and the doing it with both legs. You're just on one foot. Same rules apply. Full range of motion, full stretch, hard squeeze at the top. It's just double the weight now because you're only on one leg. And now that we're doing unilateral stuff like this, make sure you maintain good posture because if anything, people will try and cheat the exercise by twisting their torso or leaning to one side. So still maintain that good posture as you extend all the way up. Excellent point, Adam. Coming up next is the Turkish get-up. All right, we are on to the Turkish get up. Now, this time we have Justin holding on to a dumbbell, and I actually recommend this with a dumbbell because I think it's easier to tell if you're keeping your shoulder aligned like you're supposed to. So the key to this is to keep that weight balanced above you the entire time as Justin moves through all these movements. So he's going to stand all the way to his feet, good posture, go right back down in the same way. Remember all the steps here, kneeling, hand. You want to go down to bring the foot through, down to the hip, down to the elbow, and then all the way down. It's a step-by-step -step process. Break it down into each of these steps that you see in this video. He lifts up first with the shoulder, and he lifts his hip, or sh extends his arm all the way, lifts his hip up in the air, brings his leg through so his knee is supported underneath the dumbbell, postures up, and then stands up from the lunge position. So take your time on this one. We actually have a video on YouTube where we do this in great detail. So if you want more cues on this. We did a couple of videos on the Turkish get up, so just go to Mind Pump, search Turkish get up, or we'll do the link below. Excellent. Uh, that concludes this week's workout. All right, guys, you've made it this far. You've completed your third week of training with Mind Pump. You've been exercising every single day. You should be feeling awesome. Let's talk about what you did today. Today, you did lots of lower body stuff, and we added some modifications to the exercise you've been doing this entire time. Let's talk about the first one. Bulgarian split stand squat. Now this time Justin held one dumbbell up by his chest instead of two dumbbells at his side. That's gonna throw his body off a little bit. It's gonna activate muscles a little differently. We encourage this kind of modification. At the end of this whole program, you can go through it again, modify your workouts or your exercises, I should say, how you see fit. Try different dumbbells, try barbells, lots of different ways to do the same exercises. Then you did Romanian deadlifts, that was the same. Here's a new exercise, sissy squat. Don't get excited, social justice warriors. Sissy squats have been around for a long time. I didn't name them, I apologize about that. Great isolation exercise for the quads. Stay tight in the core. This exercise, vastly superior to leg extensions. You won't see leg extensions in our workout because they suck compared to sissy squats. If you have healthy knees, great exercise. Then we did calf raises for the calves. Uh, we'll send that to Adam. Finally, Turkish get-ups. This time we did them with weight. Adding weight really helps you focus on maintaining that balance, keeping that straight line. Go slow with your Turkish get-ups. This is not a you know, isolation movement. This is not a feel it in this muscle type of movement. This is a step-by-step -step movement. So when you're doing the exercise, focus on every single step as if it's uh, an exercise in and of itself. That's how you master the Turkish get-up. Tomorrow... Upper body strength. I know a lot of you are excited about that, especially all you uh, people who like to bench press. Also, finally, before I forget, three sets, all of these, three sets, eight to 12 reps. You should be able to add weight to most of these exercises by this point. Look, if you have any questions, make sure you comment below so we can look at that, we can answer, we can interact with you. Also, share this with your friends. Let's get everybody involved. Finally, subscribe to this channel. We post new videos all the time.